All right, guys, how's it going? Now, normally when I'm in Spain, I review the Spanish football dailies for you. Well, I'm not in Spain. I'm in America at the moment, as you know. But that doesn't mean that I can't keep an eye on things for you. Now, AS, well, I mean, you can call them ass if you want. I mean, we like a bit of ass, don't we, guys? Well, like, whoa, hang on a minute. What I mean by that is, um, well, I like a bit of that on, on a chick. Do you know what I mean? But you each to their own, whatever. I... Shall I just start this again? I don't know what to do. <clears throat> um, in this pro Real Madrid publication today, they're talking about Alexander Arnold, all right? Saying that he is Real Madrid's favourite to reinforce the right back position with Pedro Porro, not Pedro de Parrot. So, are you guys, you'll know Pedro de Parrot is. But Pedro Porro and Frimpong gaining strength as alternatives. If you do follow my regular videos about the uh, what's been said in Spain, you'll know that those three players, um, Trent, um, Pedro Porro and Frimpong, are the three players that keep being linked with, with Real Madrid. Only those three players. They're the main three consistently being mentioned um, with the Spanish giants. The favourite is identified, it says here, but there are alternatives, which are the ones I've just mentioned to you. And um, they're talking about the injury to Carvajal, and they're talking about the other options, and, and also the, uh, you know, available to them, uh, the confidence in Lucas Vasquez. And it says here, and they've emphasised this in bold, hence the focus is placed on the coming summer and not on the January window, a market that does not appeal uh, to Real Madrid. Now, if you've follow my videos you'll know I've been telling you that while Ancelotti and the sporting director and all of that lot they're happy to do something in January Perez isn't I don't think they've done anything in a, in a January window for maybe five years or something like that and he doesn't really want to enter the, uh, the winter market and you know the January window you pay a premium do you know what I mean because clubs obviously don't want to lose the players um, so yeah Trent is available on a free in the summer possibly uh, if he didn't sign a new deal with Liverpool, but to get him in, uh, you know, they could get him in January, you know, sign him in January, but they have to give Liverpool money. And Perez has made it clear that he didn't want to be spending any money in January, but he would if there was a bargain to be had. And Trent could still be considered a bargain um, in January. Do you know what I mean? But again, the emphasis here um, appears to be that Real Madrid are hoping that they can do the business in the summer. Now, if they did it in the summer, that means you could get Trent on the free, all right, if they went for him. Um, pole position goes to Alexander Arnold. He's the complete package, good, nice, and cheap. Um, despite his his age, he's already played three hundred and twenty two games for Liverpool, Champions League, this, that, and the other. Uh, his departure would be a moral blow for a fan base that idolises him. Born and raised in the city, joined the academy at the age of six, and has not worn another jersey since then. Blah blah blah. Uh, in other words, bigging up, you know, how much of a coup this would be if they could sign him. Me, I, I still, like, on a free, yeah. On a reduced fee in January, yeah. But I, I, I aren't convinced that Real Madrid would have spunked a fortune on him if he'd have had two years or three years remaining on a contract. Trent and his agent are aware of the interest from Real Madrid. The idea appeals to the player. Um, and in England, at Liverpool, there is pessimism regarding his renewal. Um, basically, the saying that Real Madrid are already positioned to try and make something happen. Uh, a footballer who, in addition, comes with some excellent reports on a personal level from Bellingham. It says courtesy of Bellingham because of their very you know, strong uh, friendship. T again, talking about his current market value being 70 million euros, but that's from transfer market. Um, and that's only a guide and saying that they could get him at zero cost in the summer. So again, focusing on that summer window. But like I keep saying to you, they, all the, the papers in Spain, um, the, the pro-Spanish newspapers, uh, pro-Real Madrid newspapers, uh, you know, keep saying that they don't want to do anything in January. They want to do it in the summer. So what have I said to you? You've got to watch their results. If they're not doing very well, pressure is on to do something in January. If they can wing it and do all right, Perez will go, fuck it, we'll leave it till the summer, right? That's all relevant to what could happen with Trent. And then they talk about if Alexander Arnold decides to remain a one-club man, they talk about Pedro Porro. Um, 
blah, blah, blah. And big write-ups here about the alternatives. Um, and that's that's about it, really. I'm not going to waffle on any more uh, explaining to you what to watch, who to... You know, do you know what I mean? You know all this if you watch my videos. Um, and I'm trying to keep the videos a bit shorter because the Wi-Fi is, is, is poor in my hotel. So, in summary, Spanish media today, pro-Real Madrid media, um, saying that, that Trent is a favourite uh, of them, but there are still those other two options. Uh, and I, to be honest with you, um, I think that the, the Trent camp, they want to drag it out as long as possible in the hope that Real Madrid do come in. Um, but, you know, if, if Trent went there in January, you know, for a knockdown fee, he'd be waving away a huge signing on fee. Um, if you were Liverpool and you were Richard Hughes, and you were hoping to get Trent on a on a contract, when would you want to see that contract announced? The end of December, before the January window, so it stops all that possibility of chatter of a free. That would be a good time to announce it. It would be an exceptional time to announce it before we play Real Madrid. And if I was your sporting director trying to negotiate a contract, I would want it announcing before that game. All right, so I'm just going to leave that thought with you. Um, but I, I, like I keep saying to you, Keep an eye on uh, on their um, on their on their results because that could dictate what will happen. You know what their intentions will be in terms of strengthening, and also look out for that youngster. I forget his name now. He's a Sportier, I think, um, which uh, I brought to your attention last week. I did a video about him. Was it this morning? Because the other the other Liverpool stuff channels websites are, have caught up with it now or something. But if you follow my shit, you know that we uh, we discussed this uh, some time ago. Uh, he's the academy style, if you like, that can play right back and is around that first team at the moment. But he might have, you know, the the, the need. <sighs> He'll never sell ice creams going that fast. Um, if he was ready now, that 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 teenager to to step into the right back position, I don't think they'd go for Trent. So it's. It, 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 if he was a bit older, I think Trent would probably be uh, flapping a bit about that. But he might just, you know, his, his opportunities, he's probably just too young. He's not experienced enough. I don't know. But you, the two things I'm trying to say, because I'm tired, but I'm, I do apologise. If you knew around these parts, I'm not apologising to you. I'm apologising to my uh, my friends on here. Um, the two things that um, I want you to monitor, Real Madrid's results, critical, because that will determine possible moves in January. And that kid, he's just... Uh, Fortier, I think his name is. Um, see what see what reporting you see with him. All right, stay tuned, guys. All right, thanks for watching. Uh, if you appreciate the video, please give me a thumbs up. Please drop me a comment. And if you want to buy me a beer, you know, or a coffee, uh, you can hit the um, the super thanks, the love heart under my video, and I give you a shout out uh, in one of my morning briefings. Because I don't know when you'll see this video. Um, I had a lovely. I've got to be honest. I had a lovely coffee earlier. I, went, I don't know if I've told you in this video, maybe one earlier, but I was at the courthouse today. I'm a, attending a trial at the moment as a as a visitor. And um, at, at lunch, you know, they broke for lunch and I went to a little coffee shop nearby and I had this salty caramel uh, coffee, 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 coffee latte or whatever. I, sometimes I speak in Spanish because I'm multilingual. Oh, it was fucking lovely. Just telling you. Right, I'm off. I'll see you later, guys. Take it easy.